Krishna could have shared the wisdom the gyana of Gita with Arjuna much before that event he could have made arjuna much wiser much enlightened much before the kurukshetra's big battle of mahabharata why at that moment didn't he know the arjuna his friend cousin disciple has this fear of not being able to face the intense situation like most of us whenever in life we we are faced with such intense times or intense moment usually our response is to run away from that usually our response is somehow that this time must pass quickly so either we want to run away from that or we want that time that intense moment to end quickly so i speak to a lot of friends uh and they want to they are praying that you know this must end quickly some some friends are trying to run away to places where the fear is less where the number of cases of pandemic are less i'm not saying right or wrong all i'm saying is this is what i'm observing that whenever the situation the moments are intense we want to a either run away or we want it to end soon so that we can go back to the normal but this intense moment or any intense moment is a great opportunity to take a big jump as i said earlier also the intense moment comes with a lot of pain and suffering agreed sure lot of dukha we experience agreed but there's a great opportunity in these intense moments of a big transformation which can happen inwardly within us and outwardly in the whole of humanity in society in political in in economic ways in every sphere of life but i've observed that many of us instead of looking at that or jumping into into that opportunity or making use of it we just want to run away and get back to normal as soon as possible yeah but when we are wishing to get back to normal we are missing something very important here we are missing very critical here you know many years ago many centuries ago a similar situation was created in north of india in a place called kurukshetra the battleground was set it was extremely intense moment and arjuna as most of us know arjuna was in the same mindset he wanted to run away from the battlefield he wanted it to end there itself without even initiating the battle he pleaded to krishna his teacher his mentor his guru his sakha his friend his cousin actually and his charioteer he pleaded to him that i just want to run away from this i can't face this because what i am forcing is a lot of death and suffering and pain of people i know of my own relatives i'm seeing it already i don't want to face it i don't want to be cause of it i want to just run away from this so arjuna and most of us are in a similar boat today we want this to end quickly we or we want to run away from this somehow get back to the normal life no matter how how painful that life was or how unenlightened that life was or how unaware that life was we still want to get back to that ha huh? in the in the in the arjuna's context he wanted to go back to the original or earlier life where even if he doesn't get the deserved share of his respect of his property of his victory etc he still is fine with the olden ways he is fearful to open the new ways because the new ways goes through this period of intensity <clears throat> i have often wondered that why krishna spoke the gita on that particular day in the battlefield when when the armies are pitched against each other and are ready to kill each other why at that moment because if you know krishna and arjuna they were cousins 
They knew each other for long. They were friends also. They were almost same age. Krishna could have shared the wisdom, the jnana of Gita with Arjuna much before that event. He could have made Arjuna much wiser, much enlightened, much before the Kurukshetra's big battle of Mahabharata. Why at that moment? Didn't he know the Arjuna, his friend, cousin, disciple, has this fear of not being able to face the intense situation like most of us? Krishna knew it. But Krishna waited for the right time of the absolute intense moment because Krishna knows and every enlightened master knows that only at a very intense moment of your life there is a possibility of a trans transformation. If we are in a regular normal sphere of life, transformation doesn't happen like that. We need charge atmosphere, we need absolute intensity of thoughts, emotions, even fear of the unknown. All these become or act as big trigger. The entire system is in a way, we can call it confused or not in a normal state of existence. The entire internal system is charged about this unknown. That is the precise moment when in every yuga, Gita is told. If Krishna shared the Gita or given the jnana of Gita to Arjuna, the 700 shlokas, before Mahabharata battle, Arjuna wouldn't have got it. Because life was happening in a normal way. In a normal way, we are not looking or are ready or, or are ready to jump into the unknown. We do not want transition at that time. Status quo is how normal sthiti, situation of life is. So Krishna waited. That is exactly the opportunity that we have right now. When we are seeing mass destruction, I call it creative destruction. Even the death is a creative destruction in this, this context. When we are seeing that, please know in your heart that there is a possibility of the jnana, the highest knowledge of Gita, to enter into your being, it can happen at this moment. This is probably the only, re, only, only time when that can happen. Make use of it. So the first lesson or the first sutra today is this. That the great wisdom can only be known in such intense times and this is the opportunity. Do not miss it. Look at this entire scene that is unfolding around us as a possibility of a big jump. Especially for meditators. And for not meditators, non-meditators, it could be a great initiation into a beautiful journey. Mm -hmm.